Hey guys, how's it going? Solo back at it. It's Friday, end of another great trading week. Look at the heat map here, mixture of red and green on the board. So, you know, Amazon up 3%, Google up almost 2%, Microsoft 2.5, Apple up almost 2 Semis were kind of a mixed bag. M AMD, and we're going to talk about this right off the bat. AMD down almost 4%. Nvidia pretty much flat, but down 0.5%. Micron was really flat, down 0.02%. Qualcomm was up though, 2%. Intel also down 1%. But let's get right into it because AMD was really the big story of the day because overnight, last night I should say, AMD and ticker symbol XLNX, basically AMD is going to buy out chip maker XLNX. So let's just take a quick look at that article right now. So this is the Seeking Alpha article, and I'm not sure how to pronounce this company, Xilinx or Zilinx. If anybody knows, leave it in the comments below. But AMD plans to buy off this company, and they're going to buy it for an intended $30 billion. So unfortunately, you would think this is good news for AMD, and I think most people would agree this is good news for AMD, but more in the future. But the problem is, is where where is AMD going to get that $30 billion from, right? They're going to have to pay. So the stock actually sold off a little bit. If we go to the Robinhood trading graph right now, you can see we were in the red already pre-market. I mean, we were down before the market even opened about 2%. We immediately sold off down to about 3.2%, about 9.40 a.m. Rallied back at 20 minutes later, 9.50 a.m. to only, and I put only in quotes, only down 1.7%. But that was basically the peak for the day because from that point on till about noontime or a little bit afterward we just sold off slowly all day long we were down at noon around 12 30 p.m almost 4.7 percent and then we were pretty much flat all day long and after hours trading we're still flat so amd is currently at 83 dollars. i mean just a few days ago amd was in the high 80s i mean we were talking about amd hitting 90 by the end of the week we were talking about amd going to 100 by the end of the month so my how things have changed but on the flip side, if you look at ticker symbol XLNX, their shares are actually up. They were up 14% today. So good news for XLNX in the short term, bad news for AMD in the short term. But like I said, I think mid to long term, this is gonna be great for people that own AMD shares or wanna play through the long. Let's go back to the Seeking Alpha article here. And this was an interesting article because if we scroll down, yes, there's a lot of charts and data here, a lot of speculation. But at the end of the article, it was very interesting because I haven't really seen this in a Seeking Alpha article yet. But it says how to play if you're along AMD. So it definitely piqued my interest and I wanted to see what they had to say about it. So they're saying they're personally bearish. They said the best thing for AMD shareholders would be to hedge this outcome by selling near term $100 calls. These calls would buffer downside in case AMD gets incredibly enthusiastic in how much it agrees to pay. So they're basically telling you to basically sell 100 strike calls or covered calls in my scenario on AMD at the $100 strike. So they're saying if you sell the 100 strike and AMD just blasts off to the moon, well, that's great because now you can collect a lot of stock appreciation, even though the premiums won't be that great given that AMD is trading in the low 80s. I'm not sure if I agree with that. I mean, $100. And especially if they say near term, right? So that I'm taking that to mean short days to expiration. I could understand it if they went like a monthly or two months or maybe even leaps for 100 strike calls. I guess it really depends on what they define by near term. Because near term to me means like less than a month. I'm talking like one, two, three weeks out. But maybe they, maybe I'm interpreting it the wrong way. Because I don't think there's any way, even if AMD is very bullish and investors think that AMD is going to go to the moon now, I think it's very unlikely that AMD rallies $17 in, let's say, a week or two. I mean, that's that's a big change. AMD is trading right now, let's just say $83. So a $17 jump on an $83 stock price would be a 20%, 20.5% move to the upside in what they call near term, which I think is highly unlikely. So I don't know about that. Let's get right into the options chain because I did make a trade on AMD today. It's not going to be that exciting, but 
I'm going to be able to buy some tacos for dinner tonight because obviously this is not going to show you zero days to expiration options, but I did not use Robinhood. I used my other broker and I actually sold two covered calls because I own 200 shares of AMD and I sold them right when the market opened because I didn't want to play games anymore. So pretty much, I mean, we're talking like a minute after the market opened right here. I sold two covered calls on AMD at the $90 strike expiring today, just in case AMD decided it was going to take off to the moon later on in the day. I didn't want to sell off my shares at a discount. I wanted to collect stock appreciation and I sold them for $3 a contract each. So I sold two contracts. So I made $6 today because as you can see, AMD did not get up to $90. In fact, it didn't even get close. But when I sold them, AMD was trading at about $85. So it wasn't really that far out of the money when I did sell them, but because AMD sold off, obviously they expired worthless today because AMD is trading at $83 and some change. So I made six bucks today. That'll pay for a, doc a taco or two tonight. So I'm happy about that. It was better than making zero dollars off AMD this week. Now you could have said, well, why didn't you sell a call for the following Friday for October 16th? And I did consider it. But the reason why I didn't do that is because it seems like every day now for the past week, there's all this talk about the stimulus. People are tweeting about it. People are going on CNBC and Fox News to talk about it. You know, both sides are kind of posturing. So, you know, we haven't really seen this much anticipation on the stimulus in quite some time. And I feel it's really ramped up the past week. So I feel as though it is going to pass soon. Maybe not the full stimulus, maybe some partial stimulus or what they're calling a skinny bill. But I do think, honestly, if a certain party wants to win the election, they can't let the stock market tank because their whole platform has been about, oh, how they've grown the economy and it's the best economy ever and how the stock market has grown so much since they've been in power. And if they really want to hold on to that, there's no way they can block the stimulus and not let anything pass before the election. And that's just my opinion. I don't want this to turn into a political channel, but that's just my opinion because that determines why I did what I did. And my concern was, what if today after hours or over the weekend, they passed the stimulus? Well, if I locked in a covered call for next week and let's say Monday morning, AMD goes to Gapplebee's and decides to gap up and AMD opens up Monday morning at like $86 all of a sudden, well, I would have left a lot of money on the table if I sold covered calls while AMD was at 83. Now, that being said, if nothing happens over the weekend and we open up Monday morning right where we left off, regardless of what happens, I'm gonna be looking to sell two more covered calls on AMD for next week. I'll take a look at the options chain to see which gives me the best premium and right now, because AMD is trading at 83, and let's say we open up right there on Monday, I'm gonna be looking at somewhere in the high 80s, maybe even $90. Let's go to the TradingView chart right now to look at my technical analysis. And it's actually interesting because I will say, and not to toot my own horn here, but AMD has been holding up pretty nicely to my areas of resistance and support that I've drawn so far. You can see yesterday, it basically topped out right at my area of resistance at around 87.88. We broke above it intraday, but couldn't close above it that much. And then today, even though we sold off, I had an area of support at about $83. And you can see we closed pretty much right there. Intraday, we did go down further and we got awfully close to the 50-day moving average, which is this pink line here. But again, we did not close down there. So we're right on this area of support. So what I'm gonna be looking for on Monday is do we trade now below 83? Meaning, is this area of support now gonna become resistance? And are we gonna trade somewhere between about 80 and 83? The other thing is this 50 day moving average, like it did today, is gonna to act as support. So really, I'm gonna be looking out for on Monday if we break and if we stay below about $82. Cause right now we're trading above both the 50 day moving average in the pink and the 21 day moving average in the orange. So that's very bullish right now, at least short term for me on AMD. If we break below the 50 MA and then maybe the 21 MA is next, well, that's a bearish downturn. So I'm gonna be keeping a close eye. What I want AMD to do is to hold at 83 and then bounce up something 
like this, right? Because that tells me that 83 now is a strong area of support. And again, we're gonna try and test the resistance at about 87, 88. If that's the case, if we bounce up off 83, then I wanna sell a covered call at at least probably 89 or 90, because that's an area that's above this area of resistance. So relatively unlikely that we pass that in a week if I sell a weekly. Now, if I go two weeks out, I may wanna set a strike higher at least at 90, right? Depending on how strong of a move we have early in the trading week when I sell my covered calls. Because I do want to collect a lot of stock appreciation if my covered calls hit and they get my shares called away. I don't wanna sell out for only a few hundred bucks in stock appreciation. So that's really my plan right now going into the weekend. Like I said, I made six bucks off AMD in one trading day. Why not? Like I said, paid for dinner for tonight. So can't complain, happy about that. Better than making no money if I just held shares and didn't sell any covered calls today, I would have basically had a big goose egg for this week. So let me know if you made any trades this week. Let me know if you closed at any positions on AMD or if you opened any new positions on AMD. As always, if you have any questions or comments, leave them below. If you're not already in our Discord server, you're missing out. We are gonna be adding option flow data soon. So make sure you check that out. We're adding new members every day. So it's awesome to see the server grow. And as always, happy trading.